friends, it's me, and today I'm stuffy. Today we're gonna be checking out some TikToks with a little plot twist. You'll never know how it ends. Let's watch. Pulled up to my parents' house for some coffee. <laughs> my parents have the sickest Good morning, room. good morning, sweet angels. I brought you some coffee. <laughs> I was not expecting. What she said, pulling up to my parents' crib. The cemetery, we go to the cemetery, they're dead. And she sounded so excited. Quick announcement, if I may. Okay. My beautiful girlfriend, Brooke, and I have been together for a while now. Hi. Four years, baby. Four, who's counting, right? It's, uh, <laughs> I think it's about time I ask her a very important question. Bobby the Ring, please. Oh my God! <gasps> Wow! Wow! That was smooth. That was real smooth. <laughs> you try to marry her or give her a heart attack? Why do you really try to fake his death? For a proposal. Plot twist. She said no. Ah! That'd be funny. Hey! Hey, Justin. Hey, girls. Alexa, it's time to get sexy. Oh, is Logan here? Uh oh. Logan. That's for me. I'll be your <laughs> Logan? Dang, Alexa was prepared. Not for you girls. For Logan. The way he just. That's for me. I'll be your Boom. <laughs> oh my god, we. No, what? Huh? And yo, that funny is just chilling there. It's real? He ate it? I thought it was edited in or something. No, he ate it. How did he do that? This just kept getting weirder and weirder. The amount of lies and deceit I have just witnessed. So they were watching catfish, and the catfish told the other guy he's also a catfish, right? And he's like, how am I a catfish? How? You're not a catfish at all? What is this? <gasps> he just yanked his hair off. Not his hair, his, his, is it a wig cap? The thing that the principals wear in Disney shows. That's the one. Just a couple of catfishes. Getting caught. Guess my parents' favorite child based on our bedrooms. My brother, 21, oldest. My parents' room. How your brother got the same room as your parents? My room, 17, the middle child. Oh, you got stairs leading up into your room. Wow. What, how the middle child gonna have a whole entire bathroom, shower, and bathtub? Brothers, seven, yo. Yeah. Guys, I think he's the least favorite. <laughs> All y'all get a whole entire room and he get the top of the shelf. <laughs> when I first watched it, I was like, wait, am I allowed to laugh at this? I know I make a lot of react videos, but sometimes like I don't know how to react. <laughs> Here we got a claw machine, right? And there's a brand new juicy iPhone just chilling in there. For the low price of $2. This iPhone could be yours. No way he's gonna get it. No. No! You see that? He got it! Now open it up! Bah, that's what I thought. Y'all really thought it was gonna be an iPhone? And the claw was gonna pick it up that easily? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I can't imagine how excited he was. People have spent good money trying to get it. When you open it up, this ain't no iPhone. Ain't even an Android. <laughs> So a few days ago, Ellen DeGeneres posted on Twitter and she said, what is something that you do that you know you're not supposed to do, but you do it anyway? And I responded and I said, every time I get a call from an unknown number, I answer it because who might it be? Ellen, correct. 25 minutes later and I get a phone call from an unknown number and I answer it. And who is it? It's Nicole from the Ellen Show. So it's not Ellen. <laughs> It's Nicole from The Ellen Show. Here I was thinking it was gonna be a plot twist and a plot twist. Like this is your insurance service provider calling to let you know that it's actually Ellen. But it was Nicole. <laughs> Footprints in the sand, but then you turn around and see another set. Cause Jesus was with you all along. My name is Amy. <laughs> Jesus, is that you? No. It's Nicole from The Ellen Show! Grace, dinner's ready. What are you wearing? It's just for TikTok. What are you doing? Oh, just, are you videoing yourself? Look at this. Are you sending this to someone? No, is this going online? I'll, I'll delete it. If you have a lock on your door, this is when you use it. I don't care what kind of TikTok you making. No, I'm taking your phone. This no, is ridiculous. No, mom, stop, no, stop. No, 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 stop. Mom. Grace. Mom. Serious? No, mom. mom. I ain't ever seen two pretty best friends. <laughs> it's always one of them gotta be ugly. 
dang, I really fell for that. She was in on it the whole time. Y'all get way too creative with these. Spread the message at whatever cost. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Always one of them gotta be ugly. Okay, pack it up, mother. Okay, I think that's all the presents. Oh, well, I have one more special gift for Granny. Oh, I thought I had all of mine. An urn? Yeah, I figured you would be needing one soon. Uh, you got me a used urn? <laughs> Granny, that was Papa's ashes. What? what? No, please tell me this is fake. <laughs> Granny, that's Grandpa. He on the floor now. Y'all can't be playing around with Grandma like this. Please tell me that was some blue kinetic sand or something. Excuse me, ma'am. I got these for you. God. <laughs> oh wow. I'm just kidding. I'm playing a joke. Heck, I mean, there's nothing wrong with giving a dude some flowers. Tell him how much you appreciate his work at the Target. Why he pulled out a full entire beard. Get out of there, get out of there. We going to Walmart. I went to Ulta and the workers kept showing me makeup for beginners. Okay, honey. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a full face beat makeup for beginners, bro. You clearly don't know who you talking to. Look at that wing liner so jagged. You could stick it in your drain and pull out a clump of hair. This is how I used to do my makeup and still kind of how I do my makeup on a lazy day, so. <laughs> So I heard we catfishing as guys. Whoa. If you didn't show me the beginning, I would have thought this was a guy. She pulled it off so well. This is your brother or something? Girl, you could really be whoever you want to be. <laughs> Watching this now, I'm like, who cares if he has a car? But like back in high school, I was like, dang, you got a car? You, you could drive? So like, I remember, I remember being mildly impressed. But now I'm just depressed. So the principal and the police searched the student in front of the school and his girlfriend and his friends. So they took his backpack. They didn't find anything. The oh, they got him against the wall. It was a proposal. <laughs> the whole thing was planned. Oh, at least she said yes. He was like, hey, yo, can you like put me against this wall and search my bag? Y'all really staged this whole entire thing for a proposal. Nice. Cow lifespan, <gasps> 18 to 22 years, how sad. My sister is 18. <laughs> Rip Sophie, he'll be missed Angel. <laughs> she probably like, why is my brother being so nice to me? He's like hugging me, he's probably making a really nice TikTok. No Sophie, because you finna die. She only got a few more years left to live. Very sad. Gender reveal party. <laughs> what will it be? I see blue, possibly a boy. Not a I, I must have picked the wrong cannon. I picked the wrong cannon. It's not a boy. I feel so bad. What do I do? I picked the wrong cannon. I picked the wrong cannon. It's a girl. Is it a girl, boy, or mistake? Which is it? Let us know. So it went blue, and then she's like, oh, wait. And everybody out in the background celebrating, like, girl, say something. How you picked the wrong one? I may be ugly, but look what I pulled. A hecking door that says push. I don't know what I was expecting, but <laughs> it wasn't this. But same, all the time. Uh, wait, who made this drink? Who made this drink? Um, I just want to say that whoever made it did a really good job. Thank you. Like, they did a tremendous Donna. job. <laughs> you know, the mom made me think otherwise. Like, oh, this drink is good then. Who made this drink? Who made this drink? Employee spook detectors have been alerted. Oh, we got a code red. There is a Karen in the vicinity. Everybody in the Starbucks whooping out their phone ready to record. But now nah, he just wanted to let everybody know how good his drink was. I mean, if you couldn't tell by the moan. Uh, the third letter of your name. Yep, easy. The second letter of a word that describes your ass. <laughs> Love it. The first letter of how you feel inside. Unfortunately. The last letter of your greatest fear. It really is my greatest fear. The fifth letter of your celebrity crush. Literally no other option. What does that spell? Oh. Daddy. Daddy? You think I'm daddy? <laughs> okay, girl, no. damn. Literally. What do you mean? Daddy. <laughs> uh, like, like. I'm pregnant. You're going to be a father. Wait. <laughs> Mom, you can. 
What? what? <laughs> Mom, oh stop God. recording. Cut the camera. No, Mom, cut it. I don't, I don't Nah, I thought she meant daddy like. <laughs> Not that daddy. What a way to find out. We're going outside in the car. Where we going? To your local Target. They having a baby? A baby crib? Oh. Oh, no. The dog baby. And he's spoiled. I thought he was gonna surprise his wife, his child, with a baby swing. But we got a whole different kind of baby in there. He do be using it, though. I just got pulled over, but did I get a ticket? No, because I got the mind of a mastermind. Listen up. I'm going 85 on the freeway as one does, trying to get to their sneaky link because I cannot be late. And I hear a woo woo. I'm like, oh, I can't afford another ticket. Officer gets out of her car and I notice it's a female. So I have two choices. Get a ticket or flirt. But before that, I had to summon straight sir. So I really said, oh my God, I'm getting pulled over. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah. Yeah, what's up, officer? Yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah. License and registration. Yeah, I got it for you right here. <laughs> and when I handed it to her, I made sure to touch her hand. She took it for processing in her car, gave it back to me, and said, "Drive safe now." 